Uh, hello, my friends. Nice to see you again. Today we have lesson number five about making summer tunic latia. And uh, just today uh, we will talk about edging around armhole lines. I will show you my PDF file with all information. So we almost um, finished this tunic, just edging around armhole lines. And next we will have next week we will have last lesson about this beautiful tunic, and we will finish this second. Uh, free crochet patterns, yes, free crochet course uh, at our channel and all lessons you can find in our uh, YouTube channel also. In this moment I want to show you free crochet patterns by JT House Crochet School. This is our free crochet group on Facebook. How to find this group? Let me show you my screen. Okay, so we have free crochet patterns by JT House Crochet School. Uh, find this group and uh, just uh, you can join to our group and uh, you will have chance to uh, take all these uh, free patterns, uh, beautiful elements. Uh, when you will uh, visit this group, just press photos after choose albums. That's all. And you will start to see all necessary information. Just uh, each album is about one motif, about one lace, about also now we have projects. First we finish to make tablecloths. Uh, so you can uh, just see all information in this one album and uh, we finish we almost finish it to make tunica today when you will open this uh, album you will see uh, main element you can download this scheme and start to make this beautiful tunic at your home also you can uh, see scheme how to join all elements in my case i am using this scheme i joined 22 elements and now uh, we will talk about edging around armhole lines Yesterday we have lesson uh, we had lesson about edging around neckline. This scheme you can also find here in our group. I made it by myself, just draw, and uh, you have in different colors three rows. So I hope this will be convenient to work. And also you can take a lot of inspiration in our group because we have fantastic results of uh, my friends. Just Lynn made this uh, tunic in uh, beautiful colors. Uh, she used three colors. Also. Yolanta, she made first element from multicolored thread and we have a fantastic result made by Barbara. She used also three colors, Italian viscose and changed it, she changed colors step by step. Also we have a result from Linda, she used uh, my favorite Italian viscose, very soft silky thread. And we have even f first big result made by Lynn. She created this blouse uh, by using just another scheme. She joined more elements and she made longer sleeves. This is gorgeous variant also. And I love this result. We have interesting edging around uh, sleeves, around bottom line. So like this, beautiful photos you can find in our group. Uh, so this information I wanted to show you. And now uh, next information for all my projects. I am using Italian viscose. This is my favorite thread, especially for uh, evening dresses or cocktail dresses. Uh, this thread is very good for hot weather, and uh, it uh, really ni it has a really nice feeling to the body. For my projects, for tablecloths and also for this tunic, I am using very beautiful white color. Uh, this uh, this one thread it's not so shiny. It's very beautiful and soft. And uh, I used uh, three threads joining together because this yarn is really thin. And I am using small steel hook in size 1.75 millimeters for this thread. And in our store we have, like I told you, uh, 37 colors in this moment of Italian viscose. And now about tunique. Today I will show you how to make edging around armhole lines and scheme. For this I also draw by my hand. Uh, we will have two rows and I use different colors to make it better to see everything yes and I will place this scheme after this lesson in our free crochet patterns group. So let's start, I will show you my hands and we will work. So we finished to make beautiful yes neckline and today I will take armhole lines. Also I will turn this work to the back side, to the wrong side. And uh, this is our armhole line. So let me explain what we have here. So at this side we have a side seam, yes, and here is our shoulder seam. And we have here not so good 
edging so we have like a yes corner at the shoulder that's why I will use the same principles like we did before I will use this big shell just to close this area that we have here between these two elements and in this way we will have beautiful line here not we will not have this corner I don't like this this variant so that's why I uh, created such edging so uh, I will take my scheme and uh, I will show you where to, to start where to join new thread for my work I will use again a bright blue blue thread just to show you everything better so we will start, I will see, uh -huh. we will start at this corner, like I told you, at this shoulder seam, yes? So I am, I will take like this, this is shoulder line, and we have two parts like this. I will join my thread to this side, uh, near to this pico, before this pico, like this. I will take thread, dark blue yarn, so pure looks. You can also find this thread in our store, JT House Yarn Store. We have a lot of colors of Sapphire looks. It's also 100% viscous, and I use it for my crochet dresses very often. So join thread before this pico. Uh, next, I will use double treble crochet, and I will make this uh, shell to uh, this stitch that we have in the middle between these two elements. So now three times yarn over, insert hook to this middle point and I will make now the first stitch. It should be not tight and not too loose, very accurate. Now one chain loop and double treble crochet to the same point. Okay, one chain loop, one, two, three, one more. So we have three stitches and how many I need I will look now. Seven stitches. So I need seven stitches. This will be shell and between stitches we, are, we need to make one chain loop. All the time double treble crochet so this will be a big shell. We have five stitches now two stitches more and we will have first shell. This work it's not so big because this line, armhole line is not big like for example yesterday we had a neckline and now uh, I see one chain loop and again symmetrically before this pico insert hook between two stitches and make single crochet. Now I need to move up so I will use uh, four chain loops one two three four around this big chain arch I will make just around one single crochet next one two three four chain loops i go to the next arch and make uh, once again single crochet and what i need to do next <laughs> okay from here uh, let me think just a few seconds what i see here in my graphic i need to go around first and after uh -huh. i need to go around uh, this all armhole line and after i will continue to make this shell big shell at the corner Good, so now uh, I need to make again four chain loops and around the same arch of previous yes row I will make one more single crochet one, two, three, four and next uh, around next arch one single crochet one, two, three, four and now uh, below before <laughs> I will skip this pico and between these two, yes, two stitches, I will make single crochet like this. Now I will see what I have on my graphic. Four chain loops and one, one, two, three, four chain loops and single crochet to the middle of this pico. Next, one chain loop and this is a middle pico. Here I will make two stitches and between them pico from four chain loops. one chain loop and single crochet symmetrically everything and now one two three four chain loops between these two stitches near to pico i will make single crochet and now i have what i have all the time four chain loops okay one two three four 
around this big chain one single crochet one two three four around next arch single crochet and again four chain loops and around the same arch one single crochet okay one two three four single crochet around next arch next one two three four chain loops and one single crochet between these two stitches that we have near to picot one two three four four chain loops to the middle of picot one single crochet next three chain loops one two three to the middle between this yes all elements uh, we have like yes point where we join it everything so to this point i will make single crochet one two three and to picot i will make to the middle of picot one single crochet okay and now continue to make symmetrically four chain loops uh, between these two stitches near to picot one single crochet one two three four chain loops around this arch one single crochet one two Four. around next arch also single crochet one two three four and also one single crochet around the same arch one two three four chain loops and one single crochet one two three four chain loops and between these two stitches single crochet okay so now uh, we have symmetrically this the same what we did here I will repeat at this side so we we should make one two three four chain loops single crochet next one chain loop and to the middle of this middle picot two stitches and between them picot from four chain loops one more single crochet one chain loop and one single crochet like this next one two three four chain loops one single crochet one two three four chain loops and around this arch one single crochet one two three four chain loops and one single crochet one two three four chain loops and one single crochet around the same arch one two three four chain loops and one single crochet and the last arch we will join to the point where we started just again four chain loops and join to this point I will make also slip stitch just to fix this point like this uh, now I need to turn move back just once just a little bit uh, move up and turn back so I will turn my work and make uh, two arches from four chain loops three four join to this single crochet that ha they have in previous row one two three four and join to the next single crochet of previous row now i will move back just turn the work and i will work with this big shell that i made in first row now i will use one two three four triple travel crochet so four times yarn over four times yarn over and i will make two stitches to the first stitch that we have in our shell in previous row so I will make first big stitch. Okay, one, two, three, four times yarn over, and second big stitch. Now one chain loop, and um, again two big stitches to the next stitch that we have here in this shell. So four times yarn over, make this triple treble crochet, and again second stitch to the same point. Now one chain loop and again the same. Four times yarn over and make two stitches to the same point. And like this continue to work. Just make one chain loop, next two stitches, one chain loop and two stitches. Make everything accurate not to lose. This way you will receive beautiful edging around armhole lines. And such edging uh, we will use also for second yes sleeve so just we need to repeat the same with the same tension of thread try to make everything uh, really accurate to get beautiful result
and the last uh, two big stitches to the last stitch seventh stitch that we have in this shell and after one chain loop skip two arches from four chain loops one two and to this single crochet make joining by single crochet from here one two three four four chain loops and skip this arch join to this single crochet of previous row and now turn the work and we will start to make last row just around everything and we will finish to make edging around our whole line for this uh, I will make shells one chain loop now treble crochet I will use two times yarn over between these two stitches that we have here in previous row I will make first two treble crochet just around around this area between two stitches and after one two three four chain loop this will be picot and again two treble crochet around the same area so one and second one so we have first shell here yes between two stitches one chain loop uh, now go uh, just skip one two three stitches and around this one chain loop i will make second shell the same so two treble crochet after pico from four chain loops one two three four and uh, make pico next two treble crochet around the same point in total we should have here five shells one chain loop and now to the middle uh, we have here uh, the same um, combination of stitches in previous row seven times so fourth will be the middle one uh, to the middle I will make the same between these two stitches uh, two treble crochet and next picot from four chain loops just make everything accurate not to lose it's really important when you are making edging and now uh, to after this one chain loop and uh, continue to make uh, uh, shells uh, just uh, uh, now symmetrically skip three stitches one two three and around this small area make two treble crochet after picot from four chain loops one two three four chain loops and finish to make picot next two treble crochet one and two And the last uh, shell so we will skip few stitches one two three and between these two i will make two treble crochet one picot and two treble crochet so this is the last uh, shell here one chain loop skip one arch from four chain loops join to this single crochet of previous row and from here I will look now uh, we need to skip one arch and around next one uh, we will make like we did around the neckline beautiful edging so this will be like uh, two treble crochet next picot and again two treble crochet and everything we will make just around this arch and you should have uh, four picots during the work so after picot two treble crochet next picot from four chain loops one two three four and again two treble crochet and now the last uh, picot number four and after this just the last two stitches treble crochet and I will finish this part uh, from here I need to make let me see uh, I skip a uh, one arch from four chain loops uh, join to this uh, single crochet next two chain loops after one single crochet to the single crochet near to this picot to the middle of picot once again i will make two stitches and between them picot from four chain loops so first single crochet picot and second single crochet to the same picot after near this picot symmetrically i will make one more single crochet two chain loops and join to this single crochet that we have here near to this arches after 
uh, we need to skip uh, this arch first one and to the, around the second one symmetrically I will repeat this the same stitches so start from uh, two treble crochet next pico from four chain loops and again two treble crochet four chain loops one two and again picot after two stitches and now I will make last picot from four chain loops and two stitches more just around the arch everything now skip uh, one arch from four chain loops and uh, make a joining to the single crochet here just make the same single crochet here to the same point uh, next one two three four chain loops skip this arch and uh, go to the single crochet and here I will make two stitches single crochet picot from four chain loops and again single crochet to the same point one two three four and uh, skip arch make single crochet to the single crochet of previous row one two three four and make again uh, two stitches to the stitch yes to the single crochet of previous row so first single crochet pick off from four chain loops and one more single crochet to the same point one two three four chain loops make single crochet to the stitch of previous row next one two chain loops middle stitch we have here so one single crochet two chain loops symmetrically make single crochet to the stitch of previous row next one two one two three four chain loops now symmetrically i will make again two stitches and picot just one stitch of previous row okay one two three four chain loops and one single crochet one two three four chain loops and now two stitches and picot to one stitch of previous row one two three four one two three four and from here I will make uh, the same like this combination of stitches at this side so everything will be the same symmetrically and start to make from two skip one arch around the second one I will make the same beautiful shell uh, two treble crochet after uh, picot from four chain loops again two treble crochet and pick off from four chain loops again uh, two treble crochet and pick off now the last picot after this last two stitches around the same arch next without chain loops just make joining skip one arch joining to this single crochet and after we have two chain loops joining uh, to the stitch that we have near to the picot yes and after to the middle of picot I will make two stitches single crochet and between them picot from four chain loops second stitch to the middle of picot near to this picot we have single crochet so here I will make also stitch next two chain loops and stitch uh, single crochet to this point uh, from here uh, without chain loops just make symmetrically the last step the last part uh, we have the same beautiful stitches with picots so start from two treble crochet next picot from four chain loops and like this continue to work till you will have 
four picotias in the interstitches. And this scheme you will find in our free crochet patterns group by Jetty House Crochet School on Facebook. Also, yesterday uh, I just put their uh, scheme for neckline, for making neckline. And also we have a record of making neckline that this lesson we had yesterday. And the last lesson will be about edging at the, around the bottom line. Everything will be uh, in one style and we will receive really interesting and beautiful yes, design. This is not difficult work but looks really nice. Just try to make it at your home and I am sure you will like it. So I finished to make this all stitches joining here in the beginning where we have this big shell and one more chain loop. Now I can cut the yarn. I will leave tail around 20 centimeters. Just draw yes to this side and we fix the thread. Uh, now I will iron it and show you the result. You can see the result. So what we have? It will be like a yes shoulder and it looks like this. At the, at the shoulder middle part you will have beautiful shell yes we will not have this corner anymore and also uh, we have such edging with picots and also small shells so it will be like this at the shoulder look down and you will have such sleeve and the line is much more better and uh, I, am, I will use the same color so we will not see this corner we will have just beautiful edging with picots and shells and uh, here where we have this side seam everything is, should be it should be very small so we have very yes just small arches just two rows and it's perfect really perf perfect I know for just I try to make few irons so it's nice and we have the same style, yes, we have the same style at the neckline and at the shoulders. And also we will use it for uh, bottom line. Uh, so, scheme for this work you will find in our free crochet patterns group. Just visit it and download the scheme and work at your home. I hope you will make this tunic and show me your results. So, uh, thank you so much for your attention. I hope you enjoyed this uh, tunic, you enjoyed these workshops and uh, uh, soon I will see your beautiful results. Okay, and next week we, we will have last lesson number six about making edging around the bottom line. Thank you so much for your attention and see you very soon and bye bye for now. Bye bye, see you.